Mexico is a special place for me, a place where I started my filmmaking career, met some of my best friends in the world, and also where I nearly died in a cartel ambush. So when I heard that a big group of my favorite people were all meeting in a little surf town in Baja, I knew I couldn't miss out. To be totally honest, I didn't really expect this to be a vacation. I actually had a whole bunch of plans to film a short doc and to do BTS content for the channel and to rope a bunch of my really overqualified friends into helping me out. The problem was, once I got here, I just didn't want to do it. For a couple of days I tried to force it, but it really just didn't feel right. And then it hit me. With my work full time in the film industry and the crazy hours I put into this YouTube channel, I've pretty much been doing nothing but working seven days a week for the last year. So I made the executive decision to put the camera down and just enjoy being here with my friends. And don't worry, I'm still gonna do a bunch of short docs. I've got huge plans for the channel for 2023 and there's gonna be all sorts of BTS, so none of that has changed. But I honestly think that deciding not to work for a little bit has been one of the best decisions I've ever made, apart from starting this channel. So in this video, instead of giving out career advice or talking about the latest gear, I'm gonna switch it up a little bit and instead show you some of my personal life outside filmmaking and then talk about why my New Year's resolution for this year is to put the camera down more often. It can be easy to think that if we're not constantly shooting, posting, and editing videos, that we're not making progress in our filmmaking career. And this is just as true for me as anyone out there. Our culture emphasizes this obsession with productivity above all else, and I feel like we're bombarded with Gary Vee quotes telling us that sleep is for the weak. Mr. Beast sleeps in his studio, and Casey Neistat posted every single day for years to get his channel to blow up. The message seems to be that if we're not always working, we're falling behind. So even though the point of the trip was to spend time with my friends, after I booked my flights to Mexico, I immediately started planning out how I could leverage the trip to get a bunch of content for this channel. As soon as I got there, I realized that this wasn't the vibe at all, but I tried to force it anyways. I'd wake up in the morning, and instead of watching the sunrise, or going for a walk in the desert, or just sitting around with the dogs and enjoying it, I was thinking about work. And even though I thought at the time that this is what I needed to do, a little voice in the back of my head was yelling at me to stop. And so I did and it was the best decision I could have made. For the next couple of weeks, I did essentially no work at all. At first I felt guilty, but as the days turned into weeks, that feeling went away and slowly I began to relax. I started getting up at sunrise and swimming in the ocean with my friend, shooting a makeshift bow and arrow until my fingers hurt, and essentially basing my entire day around our nightly barbecues. I even started to film a bit of it, but not because I had to, because I wanted to. And that part is important, because honestly, I can't think of the last time I picked up a camera other than an iPhone to film something only for myself. I've been lucky enough to turn my hobby into my job, and in the last 12 years, I've been able to make my full-time living through a camera. But in the process, the passion became obligation. If it wasn't for a job, then I wasn't shooting it. And that kind of sucks. So it was honestly a surprise to me when I felt the old urge to film for filming's sake come back, and I have to say, a really nice one. I basically just shot my version of home movie footage of us hanging out at the desert, but it was fun. And filmmaking is supposed to be fun. Terrible, stressful fun that makes you question your life choices sometimes, but still fun. If I hadn't given myself permission not to do it, I'm not sure I would have felt the same way. So my New Year's resolution for this year is to set aside more chunks of time just like this, where I'm free to do absolutely nothing. If I shoot home videos, great. If I just stare at the wall for 11 days, also great. Obviously doing nothing for too long isn't conducive to a successful professional life, and even though I'm saying all this, I do care a lot about my career and I want to keep working hard at it. I want to direct another feature and grow this YouTube channel and keep traveling the world with a camera like I have been for most of my adult life. I'm not going to throw all of that away and move to a tropical island to live the quiet life, so don't worry, there's lots more videos and BTS coming. But I will, or maybe I should say I have to, take at least a few weeks a year to slow everything down. The only rule is that I need to do it with people that I love, and preferably with dogs around. 
So that's it from Mexico for now. Uh, I hope you found something in that video that resonated with you wherever you are. And again, this doesn't change anything about the huge plans I have for growing the channel this year and all the short films and BTS content I'm gonna make. And I really am super excited to bring you all on that journey with me. But if you're in photography or filmmaking or whatever, and you think you might be getting close to burning out, I hope this video helps to let you know that it's okay to take a break. And it might just be the best investment you make in your filmmaking career this year. See ya.